Elton John, The Biography By David Buckley Narrated by Simon Shepherd. It is ironic that since we recorded this album, our lives have become the title. Bernie has become the brown dirt cowboy living on a ranch in California, raising cutting horses and prize-winning bulls, and I've become Captain Fantastic, travelling from the edge of the world to your town, collecting photography and art and living a life beyond my wildest dreams. Elton John, speaking in 2005, on the occasion of the 30th anniversary reissue of Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy. Author's Note Elton is one of the most famous people in the world. He has packed more into his 70 years than any other living musician, more triumphs, more disasters, more fun, and, of course, more songs. It's been a life lived to the fullest, both in its fellow feeling and also in its almost endless enthusiasm for the world and everything in it. As a child, I used to think he was American and surprised to discover that he was actually English. His Americanized vocal put me off. I loved Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, though and I was allowed to stay up on Christmas Eve 1974 to see his wonderful Hammersmith Odeon show on BBC Two. In the 70s and 80s, I bought some of his singles and albums, but was never a real fan. The closest I ever got to him, both musically and physically, was at Live Aid, when a limo carrying Elton and Renata pulled up feet away from where my brother and I were queuing to get in. To me, he belonged to the light entertainment side of the music business. I did not see him as part of rock culture. Researching this book has therefore been a revelation. Like many others, I suspect, I have in the past been guilty of sniffily dismissing his mawkish ballads, not realising that they were only one aspect of his musical story. In fact, Elton has recorded more great songs than you might think and boasts a catalogue of brilliant moments. So my book attempts to tell his astonishing life story, while at the same time reminding the reader of why he is such a huge star in the first place, namely by talking again about the songs, the albums, and the stage performances. While this book is unauthorised and has been written without the cooperation of Elton or his management, I have spoken to many important people in his story. Elton John has been a blues singer, a singer-songwriter, a glam rock icon, a drug addict, a married man, a moaner and whiner, 